Hi, welcome to a geometry video on the ratio of intercepts. This is a real quick one. This one we'll only have a look at one example, but to illustrate the uh, the idea here. So, ratio of intercepts. Here we have uh, t a situation when we have um, two or more parallel lines uh, cut by uh, two or more transversals. These are the parallel lines, the ones with the arrows on them, and these are the, what, what we call the transversals. They're uh, lines that cut through uh, parallel lines, and there's a special rule that applies that we'll have to know about when this, uh, this occurs, this situation. We have um, some lengths here, the length A I've indicated, and B, C, and D, and uh, the rule um, kind of states that these have a special ratio relationship. So the ratio of A to B here to here is going to equal the ratio of C to D. So uh, the relationship between A and B is kind of in the same ratio as the C and D relationship there. So when two or more transversals cut a series of parallel lines, the ratios of their intercepts are equal. So I guess if I drew on it, that length to that length, that ratio, is equal to that length ratio to D. So it's an interesting little rule and one to keep up your sleeve there and uh, sometimes you'll be asked to uh, work out the size of a missing pronumeral like an X or a Y or whatever based on that rule you'll have to set up a, a ratio statement a bit like this one here and then solve a little equation to uh, to answer the question. But that's the rule we just wanted to run through quickly so catch you next time. All the best for your studies.